BlackFacts.com presents, Native American Icons, Joseph Brandt. Mohawk Chief Thayan Danija, also known by his English name, Joseph Brandt was a Mohawk military and political leader. He was born in the Ohio country in March 1743, somewhere along the Cuyahoga River. Thayan Danija was ranked among Britain's best commanders during the American War for Independence. He was an educated Christian and Freemason who studied directly with Eleazar Wheelock at Moore's Indian Charity School, the parent institution of Dartmouth College. The Iroquois, an alliance of Native Americans including the Mohawk, attempted to maintain neutrality at the beginning of the War for Independence. However, in 1777, Thayan Danija led the Iroquois into an alliance with Britain. He, like most Native Americans, saw Great Britain as their last defense against the land-hungry colonial settlers who were encroaching on their ancestral territory. Following the alliance with Britain, Thayan Danija led various successful raids in the Civil War for upstate New York. On August 6, 1777, with the Patriots en route to relieve British-occupied Fort Stanwix, Thayan Danija launched the ambush known as the Battle of Oriskany, during which Patriot General Nicholas Herkimer was wounded and his horse was shot. One year later, on September 17, 1778, Thayan Danija launched a successful attack on German flats, now known as Herkimer, New York. On July 20, 1779, Thayan Danija's party of 90 Tories and Loyalist Iroquois executed a successful raid in the Neversink Valley of New York. When the Patriot militia responded by attempting to ambush Thayan Danija as he traveled up the Delaware River on July 22, Thayan Danija again defeated them, killing between 45 and 50 Patriots at what is known as the Battle of Minisink. On August 29, Continental forces defeated a combined force of Loyalists and Indians commanded by Captain Walter Butler and Thayan Danija in what is known as the Battle of Chemung. Continental forces subsequently embarked on a scorched earth campaign against the Iroquois in retaliation for their raids against frontier settlements. Reported that 40 of the tribe's villages were destroyed along with valuable supplies which affected Iroquois in the face of the winter season. Despite the best efforts of the Iroquois, however, the Chemung Valley fell into the hands of American settlers following the war. As a result, Iroquois attached to Chief Thayan Danija followed him in resettlement to Canada, where they found land and safety with their British allies. On November 24, 1807, Joseph Brandt died in his house at the head of Lake Ontario, at age 64 after a short illness. Before dying, he reportedly said, have pity on the poor Indians. If you have any influence with the great, endeavor to use it for their good. Learn black history, teach black history at blackfacts.com.